Welcome to episode six of this Let's Play series of Galactic Civilizations 4 Supernova. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the series. Uh, we're just rattling through this now. Uh, we are in this sort of central sector. In fact, it's interesting because all three sectors are connected, which I haven't seen before uh, in, in these games. It's always been like a string. So that's um, it's cool to see these little changes that have come through uh, since launch. Having a lot of fun with this one as well. We're just uh, sort of making our way through... Um, Still trying to find, like this one here, where you've got 10 moves and through there. Where is this thing? I keep on seeing pirate ships coming back out of here. Uh, how do we get through there? Oh, there we are, there we are, there we are. So there we go. So this is the Nikoi uh, shipyard, which is a pirate shipyard. Back in through there, pirates. So what we'll do is we'll just go across to one of our other markers, which we're using through the side. We're just going to go and create a new one. New marker. And these were the uh, Nikawi shipyards. So if we just go back into this one. And... Nikawi pirates. There we go. All right, so that's done. Um, that's good. At least we can now sort of see where things are. So we're out of moves there. Um, I think that's all. Although I, I, was, I really thought there was one in here somewhere. But there doesn't seem to be. All right. Well, we'll just um, end our turn. No, nope, there's still things that can move. Okay, so we've got another supply ship. The supply ships, by the way, just give a hundred um, production to a particular planet, and we want Technocracia to actually get the benefit of that. Next move is now moving. Oh God, these influence. The influence of these guys is really dramatic. Whew, I'm going to have to somehow fix that. Not that we're seeing much in there that we can do. Right there, there's nothing. It's actually idle. All right, well, we'll just leave that one alone. What's this one? Is this one idle as well? Yep, that is. We need to we need to get our influence sort of working. If we have a bit of a look to see what's going on here, um, is influence is influence shown there? Not really. I used to do seventy four. Just press shift. So the uh, cultural input is twelve. Planetary base plus one. Heart of the Empire. Heritage protection. Um, Zero Entertainment, yeah, a whole lot of stuff. What have we got? We've got different star bases as well. Eight citizens for us. We've got 25. <laughs> so we've got a planetary base, we've got a cultural input of 9.9, .9, planetary base of one, Heart of the Empire, coordination beacon, governor, citizen, only five citizens. Uh, let's go back and have a look at the big ones here again. That's a lot. That's three times as much. The cultural input is about like is a little bit more than for them, but that's because they've got more citizens. The citizens are producing four point eight. Um, it's the heritage protection. Might have a look at the other one and see what they've got as well. Out of the empire. Yeah, they've got 16 coming out of theirs. Well, I don't know what we can do about that. So I think... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we can do. Anyway, we'll just leave it where it is for now and just uh, keep on sort of uh, moving forward with everything. These are now healed up. Now we've got the big Punisher ship in through here. Again, I think I'm just going to go down and clean these ships out. Did a bit of damage to it. 
have a look at this one. If we just hover over it, it's not, it's actually not dramatic. Beam attack is five and it does have an armor rating. Thulium composite. All right, so we'll go after that one fairly soon. And then this one as well, we'll, we'll sort of have a crack at that one afterwards. Idle ship, uh, we'll leave that one where that is. And end our turn there again. There's something else I was going to do in this episode, but I forget what it is. She wants that one. We've become the challenges of our home world has presented us, uh, but the galaxy is infinitely more complex. If we survive, it will be by our wits. So we receive one culture point. Okay, this is to research five technologies. We've got zero or five. Okay, that's, that's what we're trying to do. Um, we'll get the next one next turn. Well, there's nothing much in here, so I think we'll just move this one back across. Starship refits. That's a good one for us to get. Now, we've got Xeno production, uh, which will give us the um, Geranthium processor, which isn't going to be of much use to us. Uh, allows construction of basic missile weapons. Again, this would be a good one for us to go for if we've got nothing else. This one would give us extra moves. I think I'm going to go this way. Just leave it one there. There's no battle predictive for this one here. Down to 22. Well, I think I think we'll be okay. Let's just watch the battle. Good. To take a bit of damage there though. Just click on done. And we just need to come back again just to heal back up again. We shall, we shall repair. Gee, how far can these go? Not very far into the other territory. We're going to have to clean out this, this sort of area. Still not building anything. Looks like they may be done. Oh, they're bringing a cargo ship in. Yeah, this I don't like this. I do not like this. It's getting sort of close to gobbling up our territory. It's not good. It's not good at all. All right, so our people of the Torian regime have a profound connection to water. We wish to explore the depths of your oceans, study its in inhabitants, and understand its mysteries. We assure you our intentions are purely scientific. Would you permit us? Now, this is probably not something we would do. No, we'll go no. It's just not, not our way. Um, now, the Drath have been friendly with us. We have a trade offer for you, simple and easy to understand on the surface. You should have no misgivings. Um, we get credits. 70 credits is not enough. I'm going to reject that. Done. We'll be sort of starting to ramp up our, um, our aggression fairly soon, I think. I want to look at the world. I mean, we do actually have influence buildings in here. 
where we can get cultural districts and things just to push the culture back out. It's not dramatic just yet. Jeez, these, these sorts of things here would be good. Just going to throw that one in there, I think. It's got a lot of lot of stuff very close or in around there. Uh, let's click on done. Asteroid miners are still coming. Just supply ships coming next turn. That's just idle now, so there's nothing much we can do. We're going to have to get other other sources of um, of uh, food for our for our money. We're actually we're doing fairly well again now. Now that we've sort of got we've got more income coming in. Actually, the trade route is adding, adding a bit to it, which doesn't actually, you know, that, that's not the 50% off that we, uh, that we, that, that gets taken from us. Um, I'll leave that one where that is. Let's choose new tech. Energy weapon theory, this is another good one for us. Extreme colonization. Now we haven't seen any extreme planets, I don't think. Hang on, let's just let's have a bit of a look at this. Let's click on done for a second. Okay, this one pre requires precursor studies. Where is that? This is way over here in, in their space. So we're not going to be able to get that one. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Not for a long time. So extreme colonization is not important to us, but it may be, it may have to be done at some point. So energy weapon theory I'm happy with. Although the space factories, this one may be good. Let's just go that way. The culture is really pushing ours back out of the way. Just keep on going. So we're feeding the beast in here. 18 turns now, this is good. Leave that one there. I could just put it on sentry. The Snathy Re uh, Revenge have been destroyed. Now that's interesting. Was that one of the ones we just hadn't ever come across? Uh, I don't know who they were fighting. Probably the Zaloxi. Actually, that's right. We didn't find a, a third one in, the, um, in where the Zaloxi actually were. Now got space factories. Uh, evasive tactics, that's interesting because the, the um, Snathy would have been similar to us in a lot of ways. Now processor upgrades increase the intelligence of our citizens by a plus one. That would be helpful just for tech. Uh, evasive tactics. This unlocks uh, weapon jammers which can increase the evasion of our ships. Go that way. We're going to need to start to build new ships fairly soon. I might just put them on sentries, I think. Like if we just put them on sentry mode. It's still idle. If, if their areas push back against us far enough um, and surround the planet, they're going to be able to culture flip us, and I really don't want that. So we may have to get some other star bases just to um, push the the culture back out again around these planets 
Okay, so... Okay, we've got ourselves an asteroid miner, another one. Well, I think, look, with what we've got, um, so another asteroid miner there, which I'm ha actually happy enough with. Let's throw a constructor in there, maybe a couple of them. We do need to protect these borders. They're not going to be able to culture flip Circuitria, but um, I still don't like it. Don't like it. This is also getting pretty close. How are we going with this one now? So we're down to 17 turns. And... 470 credits. That's actually um, that's actually not terrible. You know, I think we might do that. Okay, we'll buy that one. We need to do something else now. Heritage Center. Uh, this one will give tourism. It does give adjacency to to um, culture. Supply depot for manufacturing. Let's just get some of these in here. And we'll build a shipyard here as well. Okay. Still in the positive, which is good. It's very slow, this particular planet. Um, how can we go? Can we actually get one of these? We can. Let's manufacture more population. Build these. Okay, we can get more of these as well. Now, we'll keep on just with the manufacturing at this stage. And let that one go. Just click on Done. Governor contacts you with an intriguing proposition. So the Archaeans have expressed interest in harvesting a, a unique plant from Samae of Two. This flora produces a resin that is potentially ingredient for various beneficial chemicals. However, the resin can also be refined into a potent and addictive drug. Then the harvest would bolster relations. And yeah, we don't care about that one. Deny the request. I'm not sure if our, if our faction can be culture flipped. Okay, well, these are back up to full strength again. Yeah, we'll just keep on pumping away at these, I think, with the um, with the missiles. We've gone back in there. Okay, we'll just leave them alone. Uh, research complete, so evasive tactics. Choose new tech. Energy weapon theory. So this one allow, allows the enhanced particle beam. Um, now we don't actually have a lot. Actually, we've got, a, we've got a bit there, which would be good. Is there no production? Yeah, I'll, gra I'll grab this one here. There's so much now available to us, and we just haven't really... There's other things I could possibly look at um, and just get them directly, but let's just let's just keep on going with these 50% off type things. Well, let's just leave that one where that is. Um, just come back in. 
Okay, situation report, the Isengard. We've captured a, the famed mercenary, uh, Yamu Yisen. Our people cry for justice in response to his history of theft and banditry, but he might be better put to another use. What are your orders? So imprison the mercenary, he'll pay for his crimes. Then it's um, pacifism, we don't want that. Rebuild his ship if he agrees to join you, so unlock the Isengard ship. And uh, we could use someone like him in our government. So uh, let's go with this one here. We now have the Isengard ship, and we should have him... No, that's not him. That's another one that we picked up before. These are good as well. Only eight more months before this one goes. Actually, isn't our ship isn't there. So we need to start to look at uh, for the ships. Uh, so the machine councils. Um, let's just go back and have another look at the tech for that. Which one are we aiming for? We need our targets. Machine Council was under engineering, I think. Nope. Yeah, there it is there. Directive leadership. So when we find directive leadership, we'll aim for that one so we can grab this one. Yeah, where's the Isengard? It's the next supply ship. Keep on, I'll pump these down. Actually, I might pop these onto the um, onto this planet here now. Just keep on pushing things forward. It's getting worse and worse. They're encroaching in. He's very, very strong. <laughs> we are really struggling here with the uh, with the influence. I mean, we shouldn't lose these planets. We sh just shouldn't. Um, I'm just not sure with synth with synthetics if they can be culture flipped. I don't think they can, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, we do have the extra influence back in through here. Um, actually, that one is the influence there. So let's just go into this one here and choose another influence building. So a cultural district. What's that one there? Heritage Center. Yeah, let's just go to the cultural district to start with. And then we'll just build a... Um, uh, the Heritage Center, which will then bolster all of those. So that will do. That will push back on here, but not against these. Well, it looks like we may have to start war fairly soon, I think. I think I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to start just pausing while I build up, um, because it's going to be sort of like an area now where there's probably not a lot that's going to happen. It looks like it's all healed back up, back up again. Um, yeah, just as we get as we get these sorts of things, we need to we need to start to build much better ships, like frigates and things, with the um, with the special powers, um, getting some battle cruisers, and build things right up in that way. Ship orders, yeah, I'll just leave them where they are. Put them back into sentry mode. That pushed back a bit, but nothing at all against their border. It was a bit of a bubble, <laughs> a little bit of one. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just keep it going. Some more probes from the Torians. Okay, leave that one there. Another supply ship coming. Okay, we've 
Now I've got energy weapons. Railguns I'm not really interested in, to be honest. So processor upgrades, increase the intelligence of our citizens. That one I think we'll get now. Actually, the hyperdrive, just giving the extra, extra movement, that would be good as well. So we've got one more supply ship coming. Then I think we'll start getting the seed ships. We'll get three. And we'll then take this planet over, over here. And then we'll probably start the process of uh, wiping out all of this as well. Fulfill the commitment of our citizens and, and got the five, that's good. I didn't actually see what the benefit was. I should have checked that. Don't think we'll see it, will we? Okay, we've got uh, more that we can do in here. Now, we wanted to get this one here to get the entrepreneur. So we'll, get, we'll grab that one there. This then allows us to, um, we don't have, we're, not, we're not very sociable uh, being, being robots. And so we, um, in this location, this is one that has 10.7, 4.6 there. Which there's a bit cleaner way to do you do all this. Um, social of four. Come on. Three, 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 four there again as well. And three. Um, oh, that's a scientist anyway. So that one is. Um, it's got intelligence of only six, but is actually a, still a scientist. So this one through here, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, go back and select the type, entrepreneur. Um, yeah, so this will then give us four input. So I'll just do that. So he's an entrepreneur. The others we won't worry about. Yeah, I think we're going to have to start to um, we'll take what we can uh, back over through here, ex expend, ex extend this out, and then go and start to um, maybe dominate these. I don't think that we have to worry too much about the Zoloxi at this stage. They're a long, long way back. But um, production is slow here in this particular start because of the way that we had set it all up. Okay, we'll end our turn. Oh, they're coming close. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't want this. <laughs> oh, no idea. I don't want to do this. It's down to 40. Worlds. I really need to get culture in through here. Okay, they're at war with us now. Made a fatal mistake. They have indeed. They've got ships right here. This has got their probes. Hang on. Why? Oh, we need to bring a citizen across. Okay, this citizen uh, went off at this point. Intelligence and resolve is what we need here. Should I cancel? I'll just cancel that for a second. You can certainly take those out. Now, the supply ship, Heritage Center here. Let's just go and load that one in. That will just chomp back the uh, space for that. Okay, so we've got the, um, to move this one out, this particular flagship, the Independence, 
This will be enough just to patrol this, this region of space. And we're going to need to... Um, yeah, so if we just go and select that ship, just move off to here. 6-4, this one was 7-3, 5 7-5, that's actually not too bad. You'll do. He becomes a scientist automatically. Quick battle. Takes up to a thousand. There we go. And you as well. That's good. Another 200 in total. If we can find more of those, that would be good. I think we're just going to have to start to get ready. Thirty-eight. It's saying no losses. I don't trust that against three of these ships. Leave it where it is. Adaptive starship panels. Um, it's when we get capacity plus one and, and another ten percent. That would be a good one for us. Yeah, this one gets us with other extractors and things. Again, not something we have to do just yet. Allows us to fit more components on ship designs. Let's go that way. Another one of their ships. Look, this is saying no casualties. Let's just see how we go. I don't actually believe it all the time. Precursor is done. Let's just repair. Asteroid minor. Now we're going to run out of. Um, it's going to be inside their territory if we leave it for much longer. But I don't want to spend that much money on an asteroid miner. It's not, we're not going to get the, the returns on that. Approaching it as well. We'll see what happens, I guess, with this. I'm, I'm, I think we'll still be okay. But we do want to go after these relatively soon. Ah, the Kryn have now just decided to declare war on us. Okay, you make you suffer for this. So we're at war with nearly everyone now, or half the galaxy. Uh, we're now going to move this one across. And we will need to um, just check out what's going on. I think it's now time to um, to ramp things up a little bit. Now we we're going to bring seed ships in. 
we need at least two, so I'm just going to go back in, just ditch one of them. So we'll get rid of two of them. And now that we're at war with the Kryn, that's more of their probes. Take the uh, 100 points, the 100, 100 that we get from doing this. Now, um, taking these planets, planetary defense is, is terrible. So, um, yeah, we're going to be able to build up, which will be good. The manufacturing district is coming. Seed ship still in the way. This one can now level up. Let's grab that one. Well, this is the first big opportunity we have now to, to really do some big damage in here. So we'll definitely be taking that, that opportunity. I want to bring all of these to get back together as well, all of these commander ships. Once we bring these other two up, then we'll be able to really bring them all back together and um, get it. Oh, hang on, this one now can level up as well. This is the um, kinetic attack. I think we'll just get more hit points on this one because it always takes damage. Leave that one there. Interested to see what happens in here. Now, I don't think we've got... Uh, we'll just wait still seven turns off before we get that one there. I think once we get this, let's, let's make that the trigger for then starting to build a, a different fleet of ships. Very, very powerful. And... Um, and then we can sort of start to dominate. So that will be what we tr what we aim for. It's just more of their probes, nothing to do with us. Can we do it? <laughs> no, we can't. Okay, so we can't get that one. What other asteroids are there that we can grab? We can still grab these. <laughs> Let's go and do that. Just double check what we're building in here now. The constructor. Okay, that's fine. All right, so it hasn't taken this planet yet. Um, that would be a big problem if it does. This is right on the cusp now. Well, I think we have to extend into their territory now with this with these groups. Let's just go in and start raiding. We'll look for uh, opportunity. These are all our special ships now all together. So all four of them. And that's about as much much as we can do. So we just we just look for um, we'll just look just look for targets basically. <clears throat> Probably closer to towards their home. It's incredibly powerful that we actually have in, in here. Just 
raid in around here. First seed ship. Bring that one across. Two more and then we get the adaptive panels and then we'll start to um, to build up the, the next one. An idle core world. So this is uh, Secretria. All right, now the influence is now really starting to push back on this planet with these three that we actually have. Now we've got the starport. This is another good one. Yeah, we can get we can really bolster this one just by putting it in the middle here. that one there that's fine now we want to find their fleet and destroy it okay this is one of their star bases now I don't think we're going to see much here they've only got very low low abilities in, in through here We've got four Promethean, which basically means it's three Prometheans for us to, to heal up our, our fleet. So this is a... what type of star base is this one here? It's been hard to tell, actually. What is it? A culture star base. Okay, so this is trying to push back the borders. So I think we will destroy this. Go down, down to 87. Now they're building research missions back and through here. They've got um, a colony ship back over this other side as well. Well, I think we, what we might do is just go after the easy pickings first. Situation report. So a prototype drive system was stolen by raiders from our homeworld. Our sources indicate that a criminal network operating in your borders currently has it. We'd appreciate if you would find it and return it to us. Uh, we'll find it and deliver it to you, so plus three relations, or no, I think we'll do that for it. We get a, f a free slipstream accelerator. Um, yeah, look, I, I, this is more what we would do, so I'm gonna, just going to play the, um, the role play, even though we're sort of friendly with them. One, two, three, I can't really hit this. I think it's an easy hit here to kill this thing off. I might just go and do it um, and see what we end up with. Now, I've still got one, one ship that's actually fairly badly injured. I might have to pull that one out of the fight. Yeah, we're going after that one. Missing with everything. We're taking damage. We almost got killed there. That's good. Didn't lose any, but we got very, very close with this one with the uh, Jas for Light. Okay, done. And we've got level ups. This is the Acros. There's the Slipstream Accelerator. That we just picked up, we just stole. <laughs> the uh, missile attacks, I think we'll keep the missile attacks coming with this one. Yeah, we don't want to do that one just yet. So we've got three, three moves there. I'm comfortable enough to send the injured ship back, which is this one here. The 
this fleet. There's other ones there as well. Other star bases. <laughs> They've just built another one straight away. <laughs> they didn't take them very long. But um, this is all good for us. We're picking up income by doing this sort of stuff. So next turn we're going to get the adaptive starship panels. How many ships are there? It's all... it's a hundred... hundred points for us. We don't want to do that. Yeah, it's done a bit of damage to them. Okay, this one's now leveled up. I'll just keep on getting the antimatter warheads. Okay, so we've got a lot of ships in this in this fleet. Like a hell of a lot, lot of, lots of bombers. We're gonna need lots of fighters and things, I think, to come back. So what we'll do is we'll just keep on we'll move away. Now we've got all these different ships as well. These uh, squad these old colony ships. Which we can't do much with really. There is actually a citizen on board. A trandall in this case. Oh, we'll send them back. We've got food for them, so they might as well work on our um, in our locations. Now we've got a lot of hit points here. What's their attack? Their attack is about the same, but the hit points are a lot less. Yeah, they've got a few ships in through here. Their conquest rating is 16, ours is only 3. Just leave them to it for a little while. And our logistics is, we can put 4 in there. Uh, we'll start to build up and then we'll go back in now that we've seen what we're up against. I prefer to have like lots of little ships being thrown at them rather than our, rather than our big ships. Well, uh, this will be the start of the next thing. So I think I might leave this one here and uh, we'll come back with uh, being able to then go and start to design and build our ships. So I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.